Lante, when you look at you know the, the 2021 season, hopefully being a little bit more normal as opposed to last year, how, how exciting is it to be playing in front of more fans and full stadiums across the league than you know you didn't have that opportunity last year? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, the feeling was a lot different last year coming to 50% capacity stadiums, but when you have 102,000 people screaming, um, regardless of what color they're wearing in that stadium, it's always fun just being able to feel the field vibrate on your feet. And that's what you look forward to in college football. We'll go to your right on the second row. Hey, Alante, Angela Moria, News 12 in Chattanooga. With Henry gone and a few others lost to graduation, how do you fill those gaps on the defense? Um, I feel like it just comes to the recruiting boards. And we have a lot of good guys already on the team. You know that just next man up mentality. And those guys have been practicing. Those guys have been preparing. So you know, you just go into the drawing board and you just work those guys out in practice and give them that confidence that they already have, but also build on that so that come Saturdays, you know, we can go out there and play football. You're about 50 days away from the starting. How has your team come together so far? and What do you need to look on? Uh, our team's come together a whole lot. We have a lot of team activity things that we've been doing. Uh, we actually went to main event the other day, um, played a little bowling, arcade games, things like that. It was really fun. Um, we're also working really hard in a weight room and on the field. So. Doing that um, is big for us, but I feel like the biggest thing is going to come in the training camp and just seeing what our team is made of and being able to uh, build that team chemistry on the field as well as off the field. Okay, I'm going to go back to your front row here. With the new head coach, you know, Josh Heupel coming in, what have you noticed, um, you know, from your standpoint, is different guarding these guys and different about the offense and, you know, what do you expect it to, to be like in, you know, this season? Uh, I feel like the spring was a small taste of what our offense could do, but with that, you know, we'll have a conditioned good defense. We'll be able to go out there on Saturdays and be in shape, and we'll be able to go out there and kind of be yawning, I guess you could say, for the next team to snap the ball. But um, having an offense so powerful like Coach Heupel, what he's bringing to our team is huge. Um, a lot of people try to say that we never had a good offense, and I always felt like we did. But this is just an additional thing to that. So practicing with that every week and being able to go into practice and just be like, okay, guys, like, how are we going to find a way to next snap mentality? And Coach Heupel's offense was like allowing us to get there. To your right on the back row. I just wanted to ask about one of your former teammates and Henry Toa Toa. Just what is Alabama getting in a player like him? Uh, it's huge, but you know, me and Henry are really cool. I'm excited for Henry. I talked to Henry throughout the whole process, and I just told him whatever makes his family happy and whatever makes him happy at the end of the day. So I'm excited for him. I'll stay connected with him, and um, come time we go to, to Tuscaloosa and we play them, then uh, you know, in those lines we'll compete. But outside of those lines, we're still brothers. To your left on the front row. Of course, you talked about the um, reason not to get in the transfer portal or not test the NFL waters and come back to Tennessee. Um, what ultimately just played a part of you wanting to come back? And did Coach Hupel, obviously being head coach, play a big part in that? Yeah, so um, I'm the third of my family to come to college. Um, I told my parents that I'd make sure I got, got my degree. I tried to do that in three years, which it didn't happen. Um, so that was one of the big reasons, but also the University of Tennessee is home to me. I'm from the state of Tennessee and I wanted to represent my state. So I didn't want to touch in the transfer portal or look anywhere else just because this is where I'm supposed to be. And being a leader on this team and being a leader at the university was huge to me. Um, and then Coach Heibel coming was just an additional, just a big plus to that. And just knowing what he has and his background and what he could bring to this team. At the end of the day, I feel like Tennessee can become one of the best teams in the country once again, and I think Coach Heupel has what it takes to do that. To your right, second row. From your defensive eyes, how dangerous is this offense that Heupel is creating in Tennessee? Uh, I think you've all seen the numbers that they put up at other places. Uh, it's very dangerous. Um, but at the end of the day, we're learning from that. So come Saturdays, you know, we'll kind of be out there, not really a walk in the park type thing, but we'll be in shape and we'll be ready for the next snap. We'll go back on the back row to your right again. Just a quick follow up on Henry. Just what would you say is his biggest strength as a player, Henry Totoa? Henry has a lot of strengths. Um, the biggest that I would say is his ability to lead and his ability to adapt. So I know he's going to fit right at home at Alabama, and I'm excited for him. And I just hope he continues to lead that team as he led our team while he was here. We have a few more minutes. Any other questions? Okay, we'll go back here to the second row again. 
With the addition of Joe Milton, how have you seen the quarterback battle play out? Um, so Joe wasn't here in the spring, so I feel like it's a little different when you can have seven on seven and you know, ride on air and things like that, but it's a little different when you kind of get thrown into the fire. So um, talk to Joe, seen th Joe throw, seeing the guys running routes with Joe, uh, putting a lot of extra work in. So just looking forward to that going into training camp and just uh, competing with him and just picking his brain on ways that us as a defense, how we can get better and what he sees and things like that. So, To your left on the third row. Ben Bobick, WRCB in Chattanooga. There's a lot of talk about the offense and, and how high-powered it's going to be and all that stuff. Does that sort of put a chip on the defense's shoulder in a sense? Like, there's a lot of talk on the offense, but, you know, we could ball too. Does that sort of kind of put a chip on your guy's shoulder? Yeah, I feel like if you're a competitor, you're always going to have a chip on your shoulder when you're talking about somebody else, right? Um, our defense, we argue with our offense all the time. Like, in the locker room, it's always arguments going on. But it's just because we're competitive and we want, what's, we want what's best for each other. And uh, so when we go out there, uh, last week we had seven on seven. I'm saying before we even snapped the ball, we were already talking trash. But um, this defense, I feel like, deserves a lot of respect. And uh, we kind of are flying under the radar, which is fine with us. You know, we'll just keep working every day and keep put, putting in all that work. So come September 2nd, we play Bowling Green, we can kind of show everybody what we're really made of, and we can just progress from week one all the way to week 12. On your right again, second row. I got a million questions nah, you're for fine. you today. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> What is what are you guys doing as a team to get the pride of this fan base back and into Tennessee? Um, I feel like we're just working really hard, but we're also trying to interact more with the community. Um, we've done a team community event, and by that, I feel like it shows that we're not just here to play football. We want to interact with our fan base, and we want our fan base to come out to our games and things like that. And, and as the season gets closer, um, I feel like we'll interact a little bit more, but we're getting ready to go into camp, so everyone's kind of mentally getting themselves ready for camp. Because if you ever played college sports or college football, camp can be really, really bad. So um, as far as on a mental and as far as getting ready for that. so.